guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I have another haul and I'm so, so, so excited. So I picked up some more colors and I picked up another one step. So I bought a little sample pack a long time ago. By long time, I mean like a couple months ago. And this is like the only one I use and I've used so much already that I wanted a full jar. And I started using the Cool Gel which you can see, I, I mean, I haven't made like a huge dent in cool gel because I get a little bit of a heat spike with cool gel. Um, one step I find I don't really get a heat spike. So needless to say, I bought a big one. So, so excited to use that. And I didn't get the huge jar. Like I got the semi huge jar. Why isn't that focusing? There we go. So. It's a 30 milliliter versus the 50 because I don't think I'll be going through like everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open these up. Um, and I think swatches are gonna be at the end. And I got a gel polish brush, but I've never seen this type of brush before. So I don't know if this is like old packaging. This must be the old packaging because the only ones I have are this one because I like the cover so that's what I was looking for and this is what I got um yeah this one doesn't feel nearly as good and it's really kind of dried out um I need some loving so I really like that there's covers on the other one where that doesn't have a cover not the end of the world I'll probably use it for like something else maybe putting like glitter or something on it that way I can still use the ones that I put actual gel on in here and my battery's dead hang on so I like I think I am going to swatch and then I'll do comparisons at the end so I pulled out what I use as my glitter and then I also grabbed my color so I wanted the other one to like have a dark color and light color, and that's why I grabbed that, so we'll have to adjust. Glitters are my favorite, so we're gonna wait to the end for those. So, one of them, I'll go ahead and open this one. This one exploded on me, so I already know what it looks like, um, and I had to clean up the jar. I mean, you can kinda see it's still everywhere. I even wiped it out, but I did the best I could. So, this is ready for Rio. This is such a pretty color. This is kind of like the color I'm wearing, but in a orangey coral. Although, I feel like coral is up to the imagination. Some people think there's more of a pink in coral or an orange in coral. I don't know. I just like this color. So I'm gonna let that self level, but that's pretty close. It's not, this will be a two coater for sure. Like it's a little bit, that's gonna be hard to tell. But it's pretty, okay. Need to get some wipes. Okay. Then we'll do Cup of Ambition, which is this really pretty dark purple. See what I mean by wanting dark colors to have a separate brush? Because this is almost black. I almost feel like I should do dark colors and black in like one. This is a perfect, perfect Halloween color. Oh my God, I love this color. I like that you could build it up and do a darker like purple like as far as uh, like a black purple, but you can also, let me zoom you in. But you can also do like a lighter wash, like on the side you can see that there's a lighter wash and uh, not have it be so light, but I think this is super pretty. And I think that may need two quote or two quotes, two coats. As you can see that there's a little bit. So that was Cup of Ambition. 
Let's pollinate. This is a popular color I see um, quite often. There was a really pretty one that was done, I wanna say it was Selena who did it with, uh, I may take that back. Uh, maybe Jojo, I swear I saw one that had like Melon Madness, which I also got, and this one um, in a tutorial, and it was beautiful. Like I loved this, this is like, what I would say would be a perfect vacation color that's like darker, but not like super light. Does that make sense? I don't think that's making sense. Again, that's Let's Pollinate. Let's go Spilling Out of Spandex, which is kind of funny because I feel like that color is perfect because you wear red on like a hot date. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, yeah, this is another one that I feel like would be super good to do two different ways. So you can obviously see how red it is in the, um, it's like a brown red, but like I feel like if you kind of do that, it gets you another kind of red versus like the red that's in the jar. Yeah, see like if you pile it up really high, it's a different kind of red than if you spread it on. It's almost like I need two swatch sticks or like I should have done half and half. Like how pretty is that? I feel like I should do that. I love that. Alrighty, we got two more colors. Checking out your Bunsen. This is a pretty color from what I can tell. I don't know how to open this one. I think I'm right back to where I was. I actually have been thankful I haven't gotten any of these yet because these leave that, uh, yeah. I hate the paper on the sides, but I think I hate that clear thing more. Ooh. I can't imagine all the colors coming in with this crap. Oh, that's way under my nail. Oh yeah. Well, it's a really pretty color. Grab some alcohol. And just kinda clean off my fingers, but that's real life. I'll work on that jar later, cause like I said, even ready for Rio, I hated that it was like all over the place. So you're probably wondering why I got such dark colors. I like dark colors, even though it's not really the season for dark colors. I'm just trying to build out my collection. Although I should leave it messy because that would be like just how the jar was. Yeah, that's a really pretty color. I feel like that jar is focusing, not the polish. Alrighty, so that was checking out your Bunsen. This is Pucker Up, which looks like there's glitter. So let me, let me switch it out. Let's do Melon Madness. Oh. Okay, this one's open. Although there was a pop, so maybe it's not like actually open.
So I got this one because it looked like to me that this was a darker melon color than the first one. What was the first one? Ready for Rio. Like these two look like two separate kind of melony colors. And I really like this one. Like I think this would be cute with some mango crush. Like right? I feel like these colors were from that video. Remember I told you there was a video that I watched? I just don't know who it was by. If I can remember, I'll link it. And then we'll do pucker up now. This one was open. Ah! Like really open. Is that supposed to stay in there? I'm gonna throw that away. I think it's supposed to stay in there, but I plan on keeping my stuff upright. Okay, that looks glitter to me, so I'm gonna switch to my glitter. Even though I think this is like color gel. Yeah, it says color gel. So I wonder if it's like that black, you know, the black. That's a, uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of a color gel. It's going on like a color gel with a little bit of shimmer. This is pretty. The shimmer and like the glitter. Yeah, just like that. Oy vey. I mean, it's pretty. It's interesting though. Cause like, it's a glitter, or it's like a color gel, but like the glitter really isn't that noticeable. So they labeled it right. This is probably why we can't have nice things. Okay, that one's going in the trash. There we go. On to the fun ones. I just had to order more sticks because I went through quite a bit. Let's go with Ice Ice Baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, there's gel all over my trash can. Now this is pretty. I like that you don't really have to stir these. Like the colors stay pretty floated. I mean, I'm sure you should still stir them up, but like that's right out of the jar. So you can again do it super thin, but you guys like, if you've been watching a couple of my hauls, you know I like to kind of uh, place my gel where I want it. Cause one really good thing about Light Elegance is that their glitters don't really, they self level, but I don't feel like they like, if you have it by the cuticle, they don't like crowd anywhere. Like it, it stays where you put it, but also self levels. I hope that makes sense. That is one pretty color. You know, that would look good on my current nails, which I guess I could let you know. It is the Buttercream Flamingle. So I think it was part of their, mm, one of, I think it's their new buttercream collection. So this was, I'm sorry, champagne. Oh yes. This is like Sophia's little sister. This is probably, this probably came out before Sophia. Sophia is like a chunkier version of this. Look how pretty these are, like, ugh. I don't know why I'm shocked every time. I'm like, oh my God, it's so pretty. Like, I should be used to this by now. I feel like Light Elegance's glitters are untouchable. All right, so then we have Disco, which 
Mango Crush is the one I'm dying to look at. Oh, yes. So I don't know how many people did soak off gels. So this reminds me, we're gonna go like OG here for a minute, okay? This reminds me of the Gelish Harmony. Um, oh my God, what is it called? Oh, come on. This was my favorite one from Gelish Harmony. Oh, crap. I don't remember the name. But I think it was clear, it wasn't like silver. So I feel like you could scrape this really thin and not have it be silver. Or you could do a lot and have it be more silver. So pretty. I feel like it was focusing. So that's, I mean, that's pretty opaque for a glitter. All right, now to my dun 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 dun, the one I'm really excited about, Mango Crush, because of all the other colors I got. Oh, I hate that it's split. Maybe I can roll it. Oh my goodness. How pretty is that? And that's gonna go with all those other ones. Stop it. <gasps> this is everything I wanted it to be. I love that it kinda has like a neon, I'm not even in frame, a neon like pink undertone. Oh my goodness. I, I'm like speechless. O M G. I am pretty speechless on this one. <sighs> Look how beautiful. Like I don't even think I can get this to be pretty and like, I mean that's that's showing pretty nice. You can see that nice pink, like, like that would look bomb on these nails. Like even that. All right, so I'm going to top coat these um, and I'll be right back with comparisons. All right, so my luck is I would run out of label tape literally for the last one on Mango Crush, which is my absolute favorite one. Um, here is Tipsy Two-Step, doesn't compare. Uh, Grace Kelly doesn't compare. I don't think I have anything to compare. It's almost like Grace Kelly and B in your bonnet plus some neon had a baby. Cause like it has the same like kind of green yellow texture underneath like that's in here like the big ones but with instead of like a light pink which Grace Kelly is amazing it has this like more neon pink so loving that let's just continue with this is champagne this is French press um, there's a little bit of a difference, not too much. This is Rose Gold by, I don't even know how to say it. Accent, I think is what they say. And then this is Betty Davis, which I don't think compares, but I think this is like a small version of Sophia. So there isn't like the big chunks, but I think the base in Sophia is champagne. And then let's go Ice Ice Baby. This is Snow Queen, which is too clear. This is Silver Sparkle, which may be the base of that guy. And that's, that's about all I can compare it to. I don't really have much. 
It's almost like they took Big Diamond and Silver Sparkle and had a baby. So you may be able to make it yourself. And then Disco, I literally have nothing to compare it to. Maybe Silver Sparkle, but even then, they're like, this has hollow, this is silver. And then this is Diamond, which doesn't compare really at all. And this is Tiny Diamond, which again, doesn't really compare. So I don't really have anything comparable. And that is the glitters. Let's go pinks first, which is Pucker Up, this guy. We have Pinky Swear, which almost seems like this is a more concentrated and it just kind of has that iridescent but without glitter. So that is pretty close without glitter but this is definitely more concentrated. This is a little bit more of a clearer form right now formula. This is Playful Pink. Doesn't really compare. And then so on. Doesn't compare. So good call on that one. And then let's go to the neon oranges because I feel like this section is also fitting. We'll start with Filling out of your Spanx. I think I said spandex before. It's Spanx. I feel like it's in between these two if they had a baby. And then added a little bit more darker color. So this is more pink. This is Cha Cha Cherry. This is spilling out. But again, you can make it super light or you can make it concentrated. And this is like Christmas red. So I would say this is a more pinky red. And then we got some neons here. This is Let's Pollinate. Uh, I don't really have anything that's more pink than I Melt For You. I Melt For You. They're pretty close, but I Melt For You has a more orange undertone than Let's Pollinate. And then this is the Buttercream and Tailgater. I Melt For You is also Buttercream, I'm sorry. And then the bee's knees obviously does not compare. So Melon Madness doesn't really compare. It's more of a peach between these two. Although on camera, Tailgater is looking super close. It is not in real life. Let's go this way. There you go. You can see it's not in real life, but on camera, it's showing pretty close. I would say it's between these two. Like it's definitely on the edge of having that color than this color. And even then it's not coming up right. So we have Ready for Rio, which I don't really have anything that compares. It's just kind of like that kind of goes in sync. <laughs> and let's see if I have a nude. And granted, I know nudes obviously are not this, but let's just bring it out. This is Show Me the Honey. Show Me the Honey actually isn't that far off. This is a more orange than a more um, like light pink undertone. But in hindsight, it's not really that different. Like it is, but it, it's you wouldn't really notice it. Um, pink Tutu doesn't compare. Yeah, I would say Show Me the Honey is the closest I have with that. And then we are on checking your Bunsen, which I kind of have my purples a little bit spread out um, between purples and blues. I probably could fix that, but I feel like it kind of goes in my mind. Um, so this one, this is Rosy Posy Buttercream. That's, that's just what I have it in. It's pretty close. And this is fast lane buttercream here. So it's almost, in re I mean in real life, they look pretty different. Oh, that's not helping. Maybe if I go that way. Yeah, you can see that their undertones are 
really different. It's almost like they had a baby. Just kind of like when I got my gray, that was like the perfect, I think it was relay gray. Yeah, it was like the perfect in between these grays, these three. Yeah, so again, fast lane, checking out your Bunsen, which we just got, and then Rosie Posey. And this is Cup of Ambition. And Sexy Lexi is all I got that would be close to comparable. Um, this is definitely a more blue undertone. It's almost like the pearl from this one kind of came into this one. But there's not really a pearl finish, so I don't know how to describe that. So let's see if I can... I mean, you can see the blue undertone in that one versus that. Let's go this way. So I think there's a little bit of glitter on that. That may be in the swatch, I'm sorry. Um, but you can see they're pretty close, but they're not, I don't know, I feel like it's a good Halloween purple. So yeah, that is everybody compared. Now I look super dark and kind of orangey. So I think I did pretty good on getting some colors I didn't have. Some of them are close. But you know what? When you're trying to add to your collection and build a well-rounded collection, that's not going to be the uh, the end of the world if you get some more colors that you already have. So, all right, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.